Uh, welcome to this module. This module is again continuation of your last module. In the last module, we have seen how can you fabricate ETM uh, biochip for measuring ETM properties. Uh, in this module, let us see that how we can create a micro actuators or micro robots, not really micro robots, uh, robotic arms with microchips, all right, uh, for understanding the uh, tissue properties. Uh, before that, we will see the how we can de develop these sensors. Uh, so, uh, if you see the slide. Uh, in this slide, we can see that there are three thermistors, uh, 1, 2 and 3, thermistor 1, thermistor 2, thermistor 3 and in the center there is a heater, all right. So, what happens is, uh, let me first understand this, uh, let me, let me uh, tell you about this chip first, or this design first. This is a trench, trench or pit, right, pit this one, the thicker one are your interdigitated electrodes, which one? This line and this line, right. If you see this one, it goes here, here and here. This line goes across it here and here, right. So, and in the center there is a heater correct. So, now this is your chip design, how to fabricate this chip, hmm? we will see in the next slide how to fabricate this chip, the uh, and what is why we have fabricated, why we, how we are using it. Now, we understand that there is a tissue in the center and this chip is on the both ends, which chip this one. So, now if this, this is magnified version of or uh, this one single chip, this is the uh, enlarged figure of this particular single chip. So, if I if I uh, attach this chip on one side of the tissue and another chip on the another side of the tissue, right, and I apply, I heat it from one side with the help of heater, I can measure the change in the temperature with the help of thermistor on another side of the tissue, and that means that I have T1 here, I have T2 here, that means I can measure the thermal conductivity correct. Now, I have interdigital electrodes. So, as soon as this chip touches the tissue, I can measure the impedance of the tissue. I can measure the surface impedance and I can measure the bulk impedance of the tissue right. So, this is how the uh, simulation can be done for the heater at least and you can see it is almost uniform in the center of the chip uh, and that is a very good news because then we can use this chip for heating the tissue uniformly. And you can also see that uh, uh, the uh, this is without trench, but if I have a yeah, this is with this particular part you see right, uh, uh, and uh, these are the interdigital electrodes, and this is a heater in the center. So there is a simulation for that, which is a heat profile of the uh, heater, and this is the fabrication. So uh, we start with a wafer, uh, which is silicon wafer. We clean it, then we grow oxide, which is a uh, uh, schematic B and after growing oxide we perform lithography and uh, this is lift off technique. So, first is your photoregist, you have pattern your photoregist like this which is your positive photoregist, on positive photoregist you have deposited platinum and then you have dipped this wafer in acetone, when you dip this wafer in acetone what will happen? You will have inter, uh, you have heaters, you have the heater right. Then you can create a trench for creating trench you can again uh, perform the uh, lithography and open the window uh, remove silicon dioxide. Sim silicon dioxide can be etched with the help of BHF buffer hydrofluoric acid. Once you remove silicon dioxide you can etch silicon using DRI right. So, your trench are created and then on that you can also create your uh, interdigitated electrodes, but here it is just showing the uh, thermal sensors right. Uh, so, the let me let me go to the next section 
here you can uh, see then optical image of the sensor which is right over here right uh, again like I said thermistors, thermistors, thermistors and heater right. This is your interdigital electrodes and if you uh, if you see this particular uh, chip then it can place within the uh, uh, like a SIM holder, SIM card holder uh, because we do not want to do uh, soldering or wire bonding as after one uh, measurement you have to throw the chip because for biological samples you cannot use the chip uh, same chip again and again. So, you have to fabricate a chip that is cheaper in cost as well as the holder should be easy you can just place the chip rather than doing wire bonding and shouldering. So, uh, if you see further uh, you can see here uh, that the this is the actual photograph of the chip uh, some uh, uh, characterization where we can see that the alpha was calculated about 2.2 into 10 to, 10 to power minus 3 uh, per degree centigrade r square value was really good and as well as the uh, we have done some hysteresis profile increasing temperature versus decreasing temperature. Now, these are the actual uh, uh, systems. So, again there are 2, 3 videos actually uh, this is the first video. In the video what you have seen you have seen that there are indenters and in the indenters uh, uh, there are blue color thing which are indenters at the tip of the indenter we have attached the chip that we have I have just shown it to you and those chips are used for understanding the, uh, the electrical and thermal properties uh, while the top indenter it presses tissue from the top. Uh, if you see the render image uh, on the right side of the screen then you can understand that there are the two actuators uh, and here is the actual photograph where there is a arm 1 versus arm 2 and at the, at the, at the tip of this arm you can see here that we have the uh, chip attached for the uh, for measuring the tissue. Alright, so, I will just uh, switch uh, to the next uh, section and that is on the uh, uh, heart we will talk about uh, atrial fibrillation, uh, but let us talk about atrial fibrillation in the next module. I just was wanted to give you a very quick updates uh, about the newer design of the chip that we are fabricating uh, as a part of the research and it is really important for you guys also to think a novel kind of sensor design that can be easier to fabricate and can be used for understanding the tissue properties. Now, we are talking about breast cancer, but if we are not limited to breast cancer we can use different tissue related cancer. It can be oral cancer, it can be cervical cancer, it can be prostate cancer and uh, wherever tissues are there we can understand how the tissue property changes right. So, once you understand the sensor fabrication and you can design new novel sensors or new sensors you can measure different properties alright. So, in my next module I will be talking more on the uh, heart disease and how the atrial fibrillation which is one of the important uh, uh, disease uh, which causes death uh, in patient uh, how it can be treated and why sensors are very important uh, including actuator survival very important because we have to design a novel catheters with a maneuvering system to treat that particular disease. Mm -hmm. So, uh, till then I will uh, take leave from you for now and uh, I will see you in the next class uh, with a more interesting uh, problem to identify and to fill the gap and a very interesting uh, uh, actuator and sensor system to, to find a solution uh, uh, in terms of medical devices right. Till then you take care.